such a contrast of styles, man. I the whole crowd going biscuit, yo biscuit, you're gonna lose it, you're gonna lose it. <laughs> Ooh, yo, 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 bro, yo. Now nah, he just casually dropped one of my favorite all-time loop station rounds ever. That was insane. Right, guys, just to give you guys a little in between. The video you're watching right now is recorded, if I'm not mistaken, 22 October 2023. October, yes, it is now January. It's months old. There were some delays with editing due to some issues with the files. We fixed it. Shout out to Speed Shock. He edited it. It's all good. It's looking good for you guys. But just so you know, this was recorded right when GBB happened around the time when GBB 23 happened and then we didn't know anything about the new GBB because it, it was happening or it didn't happen yet or we didn't know the results yet we had no clue right just so you know it's months old okay now second thing very important I have a beatbox channel and I'm gonna show you a little preview right now bam there's only beatbox content coming there shorts but mainly the most important thing one unique beatbox reaction per day we already got videos on it like UK Beatbox Cypher, uh, there's gonna be Reapswan videos, showcases of Collapse, Footbox G, King Inertia, Napalm, Battle, Spider Horse, there's so many videos going coming to that channel. So check it out, please go and subscribe there and leave a like on the videos you like and help grow that channel so I can uh, get to 1000 subscribers if I'm not already there. But also support the beatboxers. Enjoy the video, this one's for you. Be sexy. You heard the man. We're back. We're sexy today. Yeah, we decided to be sexy. That's what's up. Why are we sexy, man? No, something about hairlines. <laughs> we we no went. Fujita <laughs> <laughs> we went to the barber. Show him. You like the look? It's a new one. It's a lot shorter than I had, but I think it suits me. However, Anthony, yeah. we gotta talk more about your your look, bro. What about my Why look? So fancy today? I, d I don't know. <laughs> There's no reason. <laughs> we just we just said we just said, yo, bro, should we do? I I, I said it like, yo, we want to react in suits. He was like, yeah. I was like, alright, cool, let's do it. And then we did it. So yeah, we on the Peaky Blinders shit, bro. Right today, <laughs> today we're checking out Biscuit versus Robin. Splendid, quite splendid battle indeed. Today we're going to be checking out Biscuit versus Robin. Throw him in the cut. I will like the video. I suggest you guys support the original content creators. I will leave the link down below. I will leave the link to Indicator down below as well. Biscuit, Robin, US versus... Fr Why are we watching this battle, bro? I mean, we're supposed to be watching the Loop Station battles, right? And uh, Biscuit, you know, Biscuit versus Robin. Uh, quarterfinals, uh, we've not yet seen them. Uh. Yeah, th this battle is great, bro. Like, th this is honestly... Whew, it, it, I was in the crowd. For this battle and this battle, um, let's just say it was a moment I'll never forget. There's there's some moments there I'll I'll never forget in my life. It's this was maybe my favorite loop station battle. Maybe, actually no. Rhythmine versus breath breath was my favorite loop station battle, but this might be a close second. You are hyping this, this up. A very close second. I suggest we go. <laughs> let's look at it. Wow. <laughs> That brings us to our last battle. Uh, I, I, we haven't said this before, man. The intro's good. Yeah, never, never noticed before, but the intro is so well done. All right, let's go. For the Loop Station Division. Introducing first the online champion of the world. Oh, representing the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Biscuit! So, online champion. Yeah. What, is, what year is that? 2020? 2020. So, in 2020, there was no regular Grand Beatbox battle. Versus. Yeah. Because of COVID. Because COVID's Final a bitch. Yeah, it took and then what happened was oh, Grand COVID. Beatbox battle COVID. went online. GBB, and okay. There were, yeah, on this beatbox server called the Beatbox Community. It's uh, the biggest server for beatbox on Discord. If you're still wanting to find some people to jam, blah, 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 join that. Yeah, I'm on it too, guys. Yeah. And this guy won that online event. 
Not this guy, but the other one, Biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> I like Robin, by the way. I don't know anything about Biscuit, I think everybody but does. Robin is awesome. Robin? I, was, I honestly think everybody loves Robin. Robin, so je, great. je t'aime, Robin. Super. Robin. Oh, okay, we got. Okay, we got. Give go. him some love. Let's give Focus. him some energy in three, two, one. Beatbox. Straight in. Beatbox likes it. Oh, are crazy, you ready to headbang with me? Hey! I got the rhythm. I got the rhythm. I got the rhythm inside of my veins. She likes the rhythm. She likes the rhythm. She likes the rhythm. Go over to your face. You have to sit up. Glass of the tub. You lost the muscle. The face of the case. I'm seeing red. I got my head. I think that I might be going insane. Yeah. Beatbox likes it. Beatbox Rhythm until the shit hit on. Ooh. Okay. Yo, so this is is this his typical style? Because I, I never heard somebody loop like this before. Yeah. Fine. Yeah, this is his fine. style. He's very dark. My, I like that. He, he gets these like rich bass beats and he has great vocals. These, these, these great reps. I really like this, man. That hit like a truck, by the way. That hit like like legit like a truck. That shit was and fire, so, bro. Yeah. And, and small fact for you. Consistent. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Biscuit has the old RC. He has the RC 505 Mark 1. The, the original device. Robin in this battle has the Mark II. He has the newer device. So this is a similar situation to Brez Rhythmind. Brez versus Rhythmind. Yeah. Now will this? I don't. I actually don't know who wins this. I don't know. So, like, this is one of those battles that I've obtained no, that I've successfully remained clueless on for years. I have no because I don't know who Biscuit is. The first time hearing him, and that God, I know I like what I hear. This was fire and consistent <laughs> with this as well. I like extremely consistent with like drops, consecutive drops. It was cold, even towards the end where he was kind of speeding it up. He was changing the tempo to the point where it almost sounded like drum and bass. Yeah, I like that a lot. And that's all <laughs> manual. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Not gonna lie. I heard on a live stream from him once that was, that was like a little mistake. He just pressed the wrong button twice in a row. There's a tempo button on the loop station that allows you to like tap the tempo, yeah. the BPM in which you're looping. Yeah. And at the end, 
he tapped with the wrong button twice. He didn't stop the beat, but he sped it up. It was unintentional. But no way that shit was unintentional. But it works. It wasn't intentional. Bro, I, it, I, I, it, I swear. It made I it better. It, it brought more variation. So I didn't expect it. And it sounds like something that's very hard to pull off. But And it sounds like he intentionally pulled it off. But it was a mistake. <laughs> If you if you really uh, like listen to it, it's only like the last four seconds of the track. Man, sometimes the best things in life are mistakes, like children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a god. I hope I don't was I wasn't a mistake. I I don't know. I don't know. I think I was planned, but mine mine were definitely mistakes. But I am damn happy to have both my little mistakes running around. Yeah. <laughs> you imagine <laughs> such a <laughs> okay. Right there. Oh, I can see. Right there. I can see. Oh, you slut devil, you. He kept going. He just kept going. So he just cuts it off. He's like, oh, wait a minute, shot, shot. With like a sick filter over the lip. He had so much va variation, give up, give man. Up, give it up, give it up, give it up, come on. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, he also has the dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's add him to the... Uh, so to which list do we, uh, do we add Biscuit? Handsome man. The handsome man? Biscuit uh, or, or do, or do officially a handsome man. Or do we call it the sexy man list because that's what you called it. The sexy man. Mm, I mean, sexy. The handsome man or the sexy man. I don't know, bro. Like, I think it's the same. Yeah, I don't think that. I think we. It's just. It's the same. It's sexy. The handsome. The sexy men. Uh, so it's <laughs> handsome men in general, but sexy men's for the weekend. <laughs> sexy men is for the weekend. Oh, yeah. yeah okay. After a few Biscuit, beers. You're officially a handsome man. You're a handsome man. You're claimed a handsome man. I see the jawline, the the sharp haircut, uh, the skills to pay the bills, the darkness inside of you. Well, damn. What a handsome fella. Uh, I think we should toast to that. I am pouring myself a coffee as a cultured individual. I could go and uh, pour myself a coffee if you would give me five minutes. Go ahead, make the coffee. I, I will just speak to the off audience while you are gone. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, cheers, guys. Oh, coffee's so nice. How are you guys doing? I really like this biscuit guy. This is going to be a little bit of a solo segment in this reaction from uh, Anthony Ray. Indicator will be right back making his coffee. Uh, first of all, uh, how is your day? You guys doing well? Huh? Sometimes you're, you might not be doing well. Sometimes you are doing well. Just understand. Just know that that's fine. It's a part of life. Sometimes we have no idea what we're doing. I sometimes have no idea what I'm doing. Even though it might look like I know what I'm doing. I sometimes don't. But I know what I have to do. And that's just take on the responsibilities in life. Whether that is taking care of the people around you, your children, your family members. Or maybe that's just showing up for your job and doing what you got to do. But just never give up. Yeah. And when you got those thoughts in your head, just know that everybody's dealing with those things. Everybody has their inner demons and... Let's come together through something like this piece of entertainment, piece of music, piece of community, and let's be a part of something. It's gotten really wholesome. Just, just know that I'm proud of you and for keeping going, for sticking through it. I am proud of you. Okay, you watching this? All right. Don't be too hard on yourself. Drink a little coffee or water or tea or any other beverage. Stay away from soda. That shit's bad. Put on a suit, look good. Drink coffee while looking good, yeah. And this guy taking his long ass time, I don't lie. So yeah, I like Biscuit. I I was very curious, I've been waiting. It's been, I think me and Windicator started doing these reactions in August, end of August. And now we are the 22nd of October. So it's a, it's like three months later, two months later. My bad, I'm, 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 I can't count. And uh, I've been hearing shit about Biscuit ever since I released Rithmine versus Brez. And we finally got there, bro. This is only one thing I've seen of him. This I don't even know if this is the best battle he has, but th this thing is definitely dope. Let me let me, let me me take this off. Hold up. All right, guys. It's muscles. It's crazy. It's so tight. All these muscles, bro. Oh. Sorry, guys. Apologies for that. <laughs> Indicator returned. <laughs> yeah, bro, I was just giving my insides, grabbing some money. <laughs> how about we uh how about we cheers our glass now? Yeah, let's cheers our glass right now. To this uh fine battle. Fine man, up battle. I had to take off the uh what did you call it again? The sh the Fresh? thing you asked me that I had on. Oh the the Gilbert. Gilbert. <laughs> the Gilbert. 
I had to take it off. Oh, the Colbert on my bed. Nice. Colbert. Gilbert. Colbert. Yeah, Gilbert is like a name. The Colbert. I had to take it off. So now I'm just wearing gilet. Gilet. <laughs> the best a man can get, bro. I swear. Yeah. Okay. You ready, bro? I am ready. Bro. Let's Hopefully go. Only go. Let's get it. Let's uh, watch this battle. Brr. Us versus the fr. Us fr. Us fr. Us fr. Us. Robin. With the response. On y va, Robin. On y va. Is it the Robin or a Robin? It's Robin. 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 Oh la la, Robin. Commence. What a contrast. Yo, Biscuit, this is the Jimmy B. Cause there is no place for you and me. Come on, Biscuit, this is the Jimmy B. I've no time <laughs> to waste for you, baby. Let's go. That was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Such a contrast of styles, man. Oh, the I... The whole crowd going, Biscuit, yo, Biscuit, you're gonna lose it, you're gonna lose it. I, oh, <laughs> this is tough because then who do you give... Because I'm... I remember of, what I said in B-Art versus Gene. It's, it's, it's a clash. Better. It's a clash. It's such a clash. A style clash. Bro. I really... I'm so glad I'm not a loop station judge. Because I have no idea which of these two would be technically stronger, right? Uh, well, I, I think if we're... I think I'll give this to Biscuit. To Biscuit, first of yeah, all. Yeah, because of what he's done on the loop and the different types of drops that he's done, what he's performed here. What, yeah. what in my opinion, what Robin did was just perform a you know, masterpiece audibly. It's, 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 a, there's a lot of musicality in his work. I think I remember somebody telling me, or I, or I thought of this myself after doing a few reactions to his stuff. I think Frosty versus Robin and him dropping his original work. I think Biscuit, yeah. uh, I think Robin, Robin, uh, I think he belongs on a main stage as in, as the main act, as a performer. 
Yeah. You know, similar to a Beardy Man, similar to a Pete Box, similar to a Dub FX. Yeah. Right? Similar yeah, to a Tio Neb. Yeah, definitely. MB14. Like, this guy could show up to The Voice and win it. That yep. type of shit. To, yep. as to where Biscuit, in my opinion, what he provides here is meant more on a battle stage. Or at least from the one round I've heard, I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. To where I see Robin sell out venues where he's performing, doing his thing. Because this is, remember you told me that shit about uh, Tom Thumb and the jazz band, the smoky jazz band? Yep. I think he could do what that, I think he is like this generation's Tom Thumb, in a way. Okay. In his, in his own way, from what I've heard until now. Because okay. like Tom Thumb... He's he, like he's not the most technical beatboxer there is, but what he does on a loop or what type of music he produces, it's it's his unique style and it's something that I am am gravitating towards audibly. Like I really like listening to this dude. I I liked hearing what he just did. It was so enjoyable, fun to listen to. This I would bump in the car to listen to. Biscuits round I yeah, wouldn't. Right? Yeah, but but I, I agree on you on almost every single point you're making here. In this, but in this battle, I have to choose Biscuit. Yeah, I agree with almost every single point you're making here. Yeah, Biscuit brought away better battle round. Yeah, like life, we were like we were heavily enjoying Robin battle round. But yeah. there's um, and you know you also know this because I I believe you you are as enthusiastic by like the old school hip hop battle culture right as I am. Yeah, there there has to be something there that's battleish. It can't just be show. It, it can't just be showmanship. It also has to be that battle factor and that battle factor I'm missing from yeah. The, the biscuit yeah the taunting like yeah it's, but but it's that's cool, nothing but, but that doesn't that biscuit you're gonna lose it yes it's taunting but it's the same taunt as look at the crowd boy right yeah it's a similar taunt to that but it has nothing to do with your beatbox yeah and it has besides, nothing to do with the loop um something you should know mm -hmm. this is not a new routine from a I, I i i i caught that because the crowd was chanting it the GBB yeah. part and stuff. So I caught it there. Whenever the crowd starts hyping something up before it even started, it's because they remember the melody and they and it's it's memorable. So I, I immediately thought, oh, this is something he is known for. Yeah, it was a variation of a track he did before. I'm not gonna tell you which track because I believe it's still on our list. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, and also taking that into consideration, it is re rehashed. It's something reproduced. To I whereas I think Biscuit provided something completely new. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it should really matter, like, if it's completely new or not, but it will have a different effect on the crown yeah. and stuff like that, but... I, I, I don't yeah, know, but, but, I don't know. but, but yeah, that's like... This um, just had a better, a better battle round, in my eyes. I think it does Run matter in a way. I think it's, it does matter in a way. Not a lot, but it maybe... Because if, if let's say, Napalm battles mm -hmm. whoever, and he does roll mm -hmm. like this, an Earthquake, yeah. is yeah. that really going to make him win? He, he did it. Depends on who's facing, right? Imagine Napalm throws a roll like this and I throw Alien. Who wins? Probably Napalm. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, for sure. uh, I don't like, know. This is the way better battle routine. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, but isn't there so like how don't the judges base it off of it's it's been done so many times? He's used that so many times in battles before, right? He he's he, he's known for it as an original track. Doesn't that impact? You know doesn't let's but yeah you, now you're comparing so that's something you right? wait wait what you're going on about now wait, wait. one of my biggest sticks for online beatbox judging how do you rate originality because is it just the track that they make or is it like if they repeat a track that they've made before that's an original work i don't how know how do you rate originality i don't know how they rate it so i don't know how gbb judges rate originality i don't know if they base judges off of that i don't know I'm pretty sure it's complexity yeah. and, and messing up and timing and stuff like that. And little technical things like going over time by 10 seconds. Maybe that's a thing too, mm -hmm. right? But I don't know if that originality, I think it was a thing, the originality shit in BBU. I think it they- used to, yeah, it used to be a thing on online judging as well, all the time. Every single LM uh, a guy online would do or in a battle round, you'd have to give points for originality. And it was one of my big, biggest stakes. But right? wait- I, I don't know. Yeah. You know, how, how do you really define originality? Like if someone does exactly, that's not original. If someone does that's not original. But if one some if someone does in a new way kind of way, is that original? You know, in so a way, in a way, nothing really is original. Like what the f is original? Everything is inspired right? by something else, and everything is a style. And if you have a certain style, is it original? If you if you've been a beatboxer for a year and you just yeah. use your is it you have a style, if you repeat yeah. after yourself. This original shit is it's it's a very gray area. I think I don't I don't yeah. think it should necessarily be a category, 
but my point was like you you gave a, a counter argument as in you would do indic you would do alien and napalm would do raw like this but yours is also a known routine i'm talking if if some, some let's let's say i don't know uh footbox g versus napalm and footbox g does a completely new routine that is equal or something to roll like this and napalm does roll like this wouldn't you gravitate naturally towards the new routine that is quite equal to roll like this because it's fresh because it's something that is the first time being done on stage and it'll have the wow factor and it'll blow people's minds mm -hmm. you know but we could make the counter argument wouldn't you like napalm more because it's something you know and something that you you can get hyped for and when you see him perform it flawlessly you're like wow that was very well executed in a showcase you your mind for that it's the in same a reason you in a popular. showcase in a showcase yes but in a battle i think if you come up with newer stuff or stuff that isn't rehashed or re -old, using old routines i think you have a better chance to win because you got new stuff if you keep rehashing old routines i don't think you're gonna win against somebody who is bringing new stuff that is good yeah, of course i think i think you're right i think i think, I think there's like uh yeah a certain limit to how many times you can use a beat or a routine isn't this is like the the second time robin performs this uh, this routine on, a, on a, uh, the first time he performs it on a podium actually see that's that is because we could argue about whether or not that is a thing about you know doing things before and then doing them again on a gbb stage i think that doesn't work in your benefit if you do something that is done before because that's the reason why footbox g didn't show anybody his routines before world yep. championships that's the reason and it works man you you yeah, just you yeah, just yeah. disappear for months don't show anybody anything like beat ass at world championship prepare so damn much and like like all all of the winners i think did this yeah i i do believe they did every gbb winner really sure did this I didn't watch everyone's perspective yeah i think so yeah, at it, least it's definitely the case i do know of one uh, story in which a special special sound was spoiled which resulted in uh, maybe a different result of a battle. What is it? And or it is was this? Alex Nino versus Two Edge. Have you heard the story? No, I haven't heard the story. You've heard the legendary battle, right? Alex Nino versus Yeah, I, I watched it when it came out, I think 2017 or something. Yeah. 16, I don't know. I watched it when it came out, and it's so, but people have been asking me to do it again, which I'll probably do. We could do it together. Okay, yeah, sure. I've already seen the battle plenty of times, but... <laughs> it, for me, it's been, it's been seven years since i saw it something like that okay sure yeah sure why not we could we could we could uh have a look at the routine but the the story about that uh, yeah about that battle is that one of the special sounds that 2h used he showed to alexino a couple of days before it was uh oh. together with maddox because i i heard this on a maddox podcast i believe yeah. um where 2h showed a special sound to alexino and alexino took the full of three days to learn it and then Kang used it against him in like a half final as a counter. I didn't know that. Is it is it the, the thing with a sucker punch? No, it was the double uh, double-ish voice. The oh, oh, come to <laughs> it, come to it, and I just wanna vibrate that. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I remember. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come to it, and we just wanna. Oh shit, that's that's crazy. So he showed him yeah. days before, and then he yeah. whooped his ass as a with a counter. Oh, that's disgusting. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. You can't so trust I anybody. Think that's why nobody shows his other. That's what nobody shows his other routines anymore. I will <laughs> never, I will never trust you again or remix. <laughs> no, I'm playing. I will never show you anything. No, I don't have new routine, new routines. I, I do just do percussion. I just do percussion. Better delete my Insta DMs then, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's a bunch of like uh, a <laughs> bunch of ideas. Nah, but bro, I, I ain't gonna compete. So yeah, you added to my point. That's very interesting. I didn't know that, man. That's fire. Damn, it's really cool. I'm gonna make a clip of Almost that. School's a spittle. <laughs> I, I would, yeah, I would say that that battle to H Alexino. I don't know if if any battle is as cool as that. Oh, it's a, some. It's a, it's a true classic. It's a yeah. true classic. Yeah. I. So. I think I would personally listen to Robin's round more to enjoy myself, to chill. But I think Biscuit won this battle round, battle-wise. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm exactly the same way. Alright. You did wildcard reactions, right? Yeah, yes. Then you might know. Then you may know this one. I didn't do biscuits. I didn't do all wild cards. 
Ooh, well, this is Biscuits, Biscuits Wild Card, if you ever want, uh, wanted to hear it. Okay, let's fuck Eish. this reaction, bro. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck going on, man. This, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. He do, he do oh, Chili bro. Willy. You're getting more sus every video. <laughs> Why is Chili Willy sus? That's normal saying, Chili Willy. <laughs> Chili Willy, bro. Chili Willy. <laughs> Well, Chili Willy is funny, bro. Everybody's going to start using it now. Oh, bro, Chili Willy. Yeah, it would be cool. It would be cool. Actually, Chili Willy in the comments. Yeah, and then Heedy Peedy. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, go. Cool. Let's just go through the pieces. Okay. Damn. With the Mark 1. Nah, he just casually dropped one of my favorite all-time loop station rounds ever. That was insane. Hell yeah. Crazy shit, bro. Crazy it, shit. Biscuit's so good. It kept escalating. <laughs> I thought it, when it got to the climax, I thought, oh, and then it just got another climax. Yeah, I mean, what do you think Biscuit's favorite effect is on the loop station? <sighs> the Where he turns the, the knob left where and right. He turns the knob. Yeah, he turns uh, the knob left and right. Spoiler. What? That knob's gotta be touched for almost everything. Is it the gain? <laughs> nah, bro. You can you can very clearly hear that he loves distortion, right? Yeah. I think it's really epic how he uses the distortion effect in the, in, in like his beatbox and in his loop station here. I think it's super cool. Is it? But it's I don't know these buttons. So is there a specific button for distortion? Uh, you have like a whole effects bank on, uh, you, let's say you have input effects and output effects. On yeah. the Mark 1, you can have three input effects uh, active at the same time. And you can have three output or post effects active at the same time. You can select out of the five channels on which channels these effects play. Okay. Um, so there's layers that you're uh, distorting more than others. Like you're not distorting your drum kits, but you are distorting the 808 and you are distorting the... Yeah. It's really cool. I think he, he he's making really good use Probably. of that sound. And then his style just fits that so well. Like this high impact, high intensity. 
what he says, uh, the complexity, intensity, go make you move. He said, he's, <laughs> yo, uh, so, okay, two things. One, he said, I know you're a lion. And then he said, but I'm the king of the groove, as in the king of the jungle is the lion. So I like what he did there, little wordplay. Uh, <laughs> But then also, he sounds like he's using a Mark II, whereas to Robin sounds like he's using a Mark I, but it's vice versa. Yeah, you think so? Bro, what he just did here on this round sounds insane on a f Ish. Mark I, bro. It does sound insane. It sounds yeah, it's crazy. If you would have, this shit is 2021, right? If you would have, yeah. uh, if you would have asked me, hey, what's he using, Mark I or two? I'd be like, oh, definitely Mark II. <laughs> and if I were to ask you the same uh, question about Brez? I I like how, how think would you, how would I would think, say how would you think Mark II biscuit would go. Off, oh, I don't know. That's crazy, right? I don't I know if they. I I, <laughs> yeah, I have to rewatch Brezza's round. Yeah, I, it really it's sucks. been it's been two it months really since we watched it. It's been two months really since sucks. we watched it. I think I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't know what if what would have happened. I don't know. It could have gone either way. I don't know. It depends on who does what. It depends on if they mess up. I I don't know. It's a hypothetical. We can't know the answer. Yeah, and I'm really sad it didn't actually happen because I would have loved to see it, man. Oh, bre breast versus biscuit, please. <laughs> this, yo, this round is is absolutely insane. Also, stylistically, it's right up my alley. What he did there, bro, that shit was disgusting. It's so it's so good. It's just so cool. You know, he's standing there with these with with a big amount of confidence again. That loop station swag almost. Yeah, he's a G. Robin, Robin's also very, very much nailing the stage presence, by the way. But Biscuit mm -hmm. is really, really unique in, in his style and the sounds he's making. It's so crazy. You could say the same about Robin, you know, everybody's unique. But yeah, I, I, yeah. I really love this. I, I really like this. The high the high intensity, the strong bass line, the good yeah. flow, and then also the nice reps. I think crazy. the battle the, energy. The, yeah, battle energy as well. He, he brings a lot of battle energy. Well, we've seen two rounds. We've seen one round of Robin. Robin, we have to finish it to be fair, yeah. and, then, and then we'll <laughs> then we'll conclude. But for now, I, I I agree with what you're saying, and yeah, I also agree stylistically. He's very original. Yeah, I think I well original. There we go again. There, he has his own particular style, and so does Robin. Uh, but I I don't think I've ever heard somebody who sounds like or who did what Biscuit did right here. I don't think I've ever heard it before. I don't think I ever heard anything like that before, before GBB either. Maybe, maybe. Subtle, maybe. So-so. Oh, so-so. You would say so-so. Yeah. Maybe but then so -so. but then again, there's, yeah, again, there's differences here and there, but stylistically on the, that, that, that specific type of beat, I would say there's similarities with the Sato style, but Sato just has a more lighter, as in a more colorful, uh, palette of tones this guy's very dark and i'd say sorry is more lighter and more on the house type beat when this guy is more on the what is it hip-hop-esque trap dark mm -hmm. i can get you you know what i mean i think i think you're pretty right and i also think that soso is a, a good example. yeah yeah i also think Soso is good like the, the 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 creation of the sounds right how it sounds yeah. super electronic and stuff yeah you know who really liked this round uh well, inky inky really liked this round did you know he was standing up in a I, I don't think I've ever seen Inky go go like, oh, this is fire like that. He was really like going at it. He was like, yo, this shit's nice. fire. When he, especially when he dropped the last thing with like the additional, I think the high pitch did it, did it sound. Like he added mm -hmm. little flavors to it very subtly. Inky really f nice. that. If you've never seen Inky jump, then the rest of this event is going to be very cool for you. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I think this is the first time I see him judge. I don't know. Maybe he was in 2019. No, in 2020. Uh, well, this is 2020. Well. Yeah, but I, I, I can't remember. Wait, did he judge 2019? He, he battled 2019. Did he? I think he did. I think he battled and he lost. He did small finals against Soso, I think. And Rithmind against uh, somebody else, enemy or something was finals. Oh yeah. yeah so I, th right. I think uh, Inky lost against either Rithmind or enemy. I think Soso -so lost against Rhythmind and then, yeah, Enemy Inky. And I think they let Enemy win because they thought Rith they thought uh, Inky was cheating was or something. Cheating. Yeah. I think that's why they made, I don't know, bro. I don't know the details. I think, I think it was Birdie Man who just literally, he, he, he heard the round and he was just like, oh, it's cheating. But it was because um, it's, it's something I, I finally figured out due to how they judged this year's GBB, GBB 2023. Yeah. But there's a di difference between voice activated and voice triggered. So okay. a voice trigger is a synth that triggers by a voice. 
and voice activated is the actual actual voice like being the effect and stuff. So a apparently there's a difference between those two. And a voice Last trigger is not allowed then? No, it's allowed, but it gets you points dedu deducted. And what I believe is uh, what happened in 2019 is that Inky used a lot used a lot of sounds that were voice triggered. Hence, okay. maybe cheating. Hence, I don't care. You know, his music is still amazing. But yeah, I think, yeah. I think that's why why they uh, yeah why, okay. they, why enemy won. What I personally would like is more clear explanations on why certain decisions were made by the judges and why certain judges and how certain judges judge the wild cards. That's what I personally would like to see. Like th we ranked it like this because this this one said this, this one said that. Uh, the only Watch the judge. You should watch the winner announcement live streams for those. They're really great for insight. Okay, I will do it. I didn't know they did that. If they do that, then I have to check that out. I really like that yeah. D'Lo breaks it down uh, in a way. In his, he, he does reaction and he breaks it down. I like that, that he does that. Same. I love it. I love the videos he makes as well. Like yeah. he, when he did all the LMs from GBB again and then ranked them himself. Love that. Love yeah. those videos. Uh, I have to watch those again. Because uh, I, I still haven't gone through everything. So I first have to do that. And there's so much good beats book stuff to watch nowadays, huh? Yeah, bro. There's there's so much. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Time. Sorrow's face. So, yeah, sorrow. Impressed. Yeah. <laughs> sorrow really <laughs> likes Robin. Sorrow really really liked Robin's first uh first uh round. Yeah. Yo, I, so I have to say this, but doesn't this thing, the timing with the sound, remind you of the Looney Tunes uh, intro logo? 100% know that you've said it, yeah. I just noticed this right now. <laughs> I had to say it, I had to say it, man. We have to say it, okay. So we're listening, so we're listening to Looney Tunes? Yeah, oh, oh shit. Yeah, they Looney, they're crazy, yeah. <laughs> Bars. Oh, Loopy Tunes, bro. Loopy Tunes. Oh, that, Loopy tunes. bro. Bro, you just thought of some right. shit. We could like make this sometime. This could be a podcast for a loop station artist, Loopy Tunes. Bro, <laughs> Loopy Tunes. <laughs> That'd be sick, man. Just, just have the GBB logo in the background. You know? Yeah, Loopy Tunes. <laughs> you will not get copyright, you know, striked or destroyed by Warner Bros. Don't worry about it, man. Don't worry about it. Very artistic. <laughs> yo, Finally, <laughs> yo, you didn't know that you were in the videos. Uh, I, 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 as I said, I was like in the the back of the crowd because I'm told as fresh. I want to pull up the view for anyone. But finally, I show, I see myself. Wait, <laughs> that's awesome. Now you see how tall I am as well. I'm like a, a, a face above everyone. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, I, I want to get the perfect frame. There we go. So, we go. how tall are you, bro? This is actually indicator. That's nice. oh, you're famous, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm six four, bro. Damn, bro. Or seven ten? What was it now? Yeah, yeah, you eight, eight, yeah, eight, three. You, no, you seven eight three. I'm I'm uh, I'm seven foot. You're eight three. Oh yeah, yeah. You were quite a quite a massive person as well. Yeah, 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 yeah you're a massive schlong. <laughs> 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 no chili willy, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's not massive. It's good. It, 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 it does what it has to do, ladies, okay? <laughs> He's got children, just so you know. It's functional. Uh, it's fine. It works. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it does what it needs to do. But I'm a yeah. focused individual, a man on path to success alongside Indicator. Ain't that right, man? Hell yeah. Yeah, we Hell focus. Yeah. 
we focusing. Well, we get so distracted on this shit. It's crazy, bro. We've been recording for for almost fifty minutes. Yep, and we're halfway through. A, <laughs> we're halfway through a video. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, the lights. Such a real fucking thing. One that Robin will probably never forget either. Yeah. This is wild card. So what happened at the end, man? Hmm? He was shouting in his mic, but I don't know. Wait, was was it? Is this the thing you talk about? Like the voice? What is it called? Not the voice trigger, but the other thing. Um, what was it? Voice effect. Okay, so you can clearly you can clearly hear which layers he's adding here because there's like a map 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 yeah map, yeah ma, yeah map 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 that he's adding. The thing is, he's just singing those towards the end. Mop, mop, mop. I, I can tell here, like the mop, 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 yeah, ma. mop, 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 yeah, okay. yeah. mop, 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 Ah, uh, okay. So he was just, he kept looping it and just went higher and higher and higher and higher with it. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I wasn't sure. Effect over a baseline. Okay. I wasn't sure with the last one what was going on, but now that you say it and I just look at it again, I uh, figured it out. Okay. I think Robin's beautiful rounds. Rounds. Exactly. I was, I was just going to say, I think Robin's rounds are beautiful, but I don't think that the, it wins the battle. Agreed. Agreed. I, lo I love Robin and his music is great. Uh, like his music is great. Absolutely great. I, I do listen to his music, like literally, maybe not on a day to day, but sometimes. But Biscuit um, is also just phenomenal. Me personally, I think uh, Robin's first round was the most enjoyable thing to listen to out of everything here. But Biscuit's round one, one. Biscuit's round two, one, in my opinion. And Biscuit's round two was the hardest battle round. Yeah. But I, I Biscuit's round two was the, the king of the groove. It's first day. But I I liked like audibly to to chill to, to listen to, enjoy 
Robin's first round the most. A hundred percent agreed. But it's not what wins you battles. It's not. It's not what wins the battles. It's a battle, and yeah. it, you gotta you gotta try to remain unbiased. You'll always be biased because you'll always have personal preference. But you gotta try to just look at it objectively. Yeah, I mean, if if imagine like um, I, I was about to say something stupid, but <laughs> imagine a rap battle, Eminem versus whoever, and Eminem performs "Lose Yourself," and the other guy actually makes a full new stuff, blah blah, roast the right. of him. It's mm -hmm. like battle energy, right? Yeah, exactly. You you couldn't do this, but going to a battle, uh, this is actually a good example of giving. If you go to a rap battle, King of the Dot, and you got Disaster versus uh, DNA, and Disaster does a Disaster does an original round of just inflaming DNA, the rapper, and DNA does a song. Well, Disaster is yeah. gonna win, win just because of the you know the battle energy, like the battle concept. It's a very good point you're giving. It's perfect. It's a perfect example to say here. The battle thing yeah. is going to win the battle because it's a battle. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And we shouldn't forget that. Like the the even the great artists, there's a battle. Ooh, That's close. It's a three to two. So it's a three to two. Beatness and Pete Box went with Robin. Robin and then ZD. I knew, I actually expected Saru a little bit to go. Well, nah, I mean, uh, it could go either way. To be fair, I didn't expect anybody to do anything. I did see more enjoyment from Inky towards Biscuits round. So I thought, yeah, he would go towards them. But for everybody else, I had no clue who would like what, to be fair. Let's keep it real. I, I would have voted for, for uh, Biscuit and you would have voted as well for Biscuit, right? I would have also voted for Biscuit, yeah. I'm sick battle, man, dang. Yeah, I do love Robin though. I really do have to say that. I oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Man, man, man. That guy makes great, great music. Like, actually enjoyable to listen to. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, it's really crazy. Because the, the, both of the routines he showed, by the way, he'd done before. Both of them. So, for the crowd, we, we all knew what was coming. We all knew what was happening. You know, um, what, nice. on that subject, by the way, Biscuit also did a round that he performed before, but as his wild card. Mm. And I think that's a difference, right? Performing your wild card at the event versus performing a beat you did before at the event. Yeah. If you perform your wild card at an event, people are gonna assume it's your best round. Wait, so you say that if you perform your wild card car for the event at the event, people are going to assume it's your best round? I, I would say so. Yeah. Why? If because it's memorable. If you are performing your wild card, you know you're in a tough spot. Because your wild card, you know scored points. You know it's good. You know what it can do. I mean, if you imagine making a wild card for GBB and it's not your best routine, then you won't make it into GBB. Yeah, but I think that then, then again, there's the argument we had before. If you rehash your own content, especially something that you made specifically to get into the event, then use that later in the event again, mm -hmm. that might work against you because it's something you've done before. So that's again that. Uh, conversation that we had before yeah uh, yeah well B biscuit did bring his wild card here and it what, went hard as what king of the group was that his was his wild card okay yeah hmm. so you saw a crowd reaction you saw them all going crazy i think a wild card versus uh another well like another known routine there's a difference there because the wild card is actually speci specifically made for the new competition right at least the way I would go about making a wild card is make a new beat for that, for that, yeah, competition. Make sure you give it your A game, uh, some good technical stuff, and yeah, you should be set, right? So biscuit versus Roman, the, the three to two decision really does speak some words here because what would have happened if biscuit didn't throw, like his quote unquote best round, his wild card, right? Because if you throw your wild card, you're expecting a crowd reaction, you're expecting more hype. Mm -hmm. You have you use your wild card for competitions the moment you get into a pickle to create like a reaction within the crowd to get them fully hyped up for you. If that makes sense, it does make sense. It does make sense. I never saw. I never thought of it like that. I I just always had the opinion of if you do something you've done before, especially if it's something that you have prepared for this specific event, and then you use it again even in that event in the first battle. Right. To to me, it's like oh, it, that's not super impressive or it wouldn't be more impressive because it's something you literally you use it twice basically 
But I think it's different because the wildcard you submit like online before before the whole event and then live you can actually show that wildcard off. I think the wildcard is the, the only like the only piece where it doesn't really matter if like you've done it. I think I think throwing a wildcard live is actually a great idea. Just because you get a, such a good crowd reaction most of the time. I, I just think I think it is opposite. I think it's when when I say that, I mean, let's say you have a beat that you've done somewhere on another stage or you, I don't know, it's somewhere recorded or whatever, right. a showcase or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And people know it from there. And then you decide yeah. to use it in a GBB. I think that is, let's say, less worse. Not that it's bad, but it's less worse than you reusing your wild card that you use for that event. That's what I think. Really? Yeah. Be well, because you're basically doing something twice. Okay. Especially can, if it's specific, if it's specifically for the same event, if it's the same thing you use to entry, which is basically pre-elimination or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, for looping, it is elimination. It's basically eliminations, just online. Yeah, yeah. But then you use it again in the first battle, or yeah, it doesn't matter when. But you use it again. So you basically use it twice in the competition. Okay, I can I can see where you're coming from. However, yeah. I do not agree. Um, I get. I mean, I get. I get what you mean. I think it's just we just have uh, different opinions on this, and that's fine. We we can uh, what's it called again? Agree to disagree. Yeah, we can just respectfully. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's some a... people think it's like the end of the world if people disagree. It's really not. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I mean we're we're both uh, mature, sexy ge gentlemen. You know, I mean look at us, God damn. right? And we can <laughs> we can both be like you know, oh yeah, you think that? Oh, okay, I get that. I think that. Okay, I get that. And that's what she, we should just do. Talk about it. It's not. I get where you're coming from. You get where I'm coming from. And then we just gotta see who agrees or disagrees with us in, in the comment section, so we can beat their ass. Yeah, please, please tell Anthony that you can use a wild card in your competition, bro. Beatbox will be different if you don't. <laughs> you will, you will fight me. You will fight me one on one, mano in mano. I'm joking. I would never do that to you. Okay, if you agree with uh, if you agree with Anthony, uh, hashtag Chili Willy in the comments. If you agree with me, hashtag Big Dick. In the comments, hey, what the uh, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> now, if you if you agree with Indicator, it's gummy worm penis. It's gummy worm, bro. <laughs> oh, man, man. Floppy toppy. Okay, nah, we done. <laughs> we done. I'm done. I'm out. Fuck. I'm out.